At risk are the Americans. According to McCarthy, the Republicans have stated that they will not allow the United States to default on its debts and have expressed an interest in negotiating a compromise with the President. When the United States government reached its statutory debt limit earlier this month, the Treasury Department announced at the time that it had begun to resort to exceptional measures in order to raise the necessary funds to pay for the bills. Additionally, that there is a deadline of June 5, 2023, for taking action or risking a default. In addition, Republicans in the House of Representatives have been asking that spending be reduced in exchange for lowering the debt ceiling and preventing a default on the United States debt. In spite of this, the leaders of the party have proposed a cohesive strategy to reduce expenditure, which makes it more difficult for McCarthy to pass a law with the support of his nearly unanimous majority. In the past, the White House has stated that there will be no negotiations and that Congress must give the government permission to pay its obligations. Additionally, the Democratic leaders in both the House and the Senate have shown their support for Biden, and they have demanded that McCarthy deliver his plan and get it approved by the House before any conversations can place. McCarthy has expressed his desire to reduce spending on social care and Medicare, and he has stated that he is willing to discuss this matter with Democrats, who are also concerned about the debt ceiling. To all of you, he also included this. McCarthy stated that Republicans were committed to enhancing the programs despite the fact that Republicans do want the commitment on expenditure reduction in general. Moreover, tax season has returned. As of the previous week, the Internal Revenue Service IRS has officially begun accepting and processing tax returns. Taxpayers have already been warned by the Internal Revenue Service IRS to anticipate receiving far smaller checks than they have in recent years. There are a few typical reasons that you might leave without a refund or at least a considerably lower one in 2023. In addition to this, there are a few causes that we will discuss. In the first place, during the crisis, there were modifications and improvements done, and now things are returning to their usual state. Additionally, this include the child care credit for all individuals. Also included in this child care credit are the dependent care credit the Earned Income Tax Credit, the possibility to deduct charitable deductions without having to itemize your taxes, and stimulus payments. All of these benefits are included in one credit. There is also the possibility that you will be underwithheld if you were banking on those double-sized credits and you won't be receiving them this year. As Mark Stever, a Chief Staff Information Officer, explained to the media, in addition, significant life events such as getting married or purchasing a home, will have an effect on your tax liability. The most significant of them is, of course, any changes that occur to your work position. In 2022, if you received a refund or started a new employment, you might be responsible for remembering to fill out a Form W-4, which is used to determine the amount of tax that is deducted from your paycheck. If you have the highest amount of taxes deducted from your paycheck, you will also receive a refund. Any additional earnings that you got during the previous year, such as bonuses, severance pay, or reimbursements for lost costs, may also be liable to taxation by the individuals who are responsible for paying wages. And to begin, Stever and the Internal Revenue Service have both suggested that you file your taxes early, regardless of whether or not you owe the money. This is because the Internal Revenue Service has the ability to penalize you for failing to file your taxes, but it also has the ability to penalize you for failing to pay the taxes that you owe in a timely manner. When you owe taxes, you are susceptible to interest and penalties for paying them late on a monthly basis. The Internal Revenue Service IRS reports that the deadline for submitting taxes is on April 18th. In addition to fostering new and fundamental research at HBUs and MISSIS, we are working to improve the safety of supply chains used by the Department of Defense. Additionally, we are providing an additional $1 billion in security aid to the Ukrainian people in order to further help them in their battle for democracy. I would like to express my gratitude to the Chair, Adam Smith, as well as the Armed Services Committee for their unwavering and patriotic leadership in the process of putting together this legislation which will contribute to the safety of the United States of America and its citizens, as well as the protection of our democratic system. Again, when we are discussing our safety the following week, we need to talk about our veterans. As you mentioned, we make a promise to them that we will protect them when they return home from serving our country. This law, known as the PACT Act, 
represents yet another significant step towards ensuring that our courageous men and women are cared for when they put their lives in danger to combat the enemy. As part of a new plan for a stimulus tax rebate, which has received support from the Senate, the rationale for a stimulus tax rebate is to assist residents of Missouri in coping with the rising levels of inflation in the United States, which is a problem that is impacting a great number of other countries across the world. It would appear that the idea has received popular support up to this point. Nevertheless, in order for it to become a reality for the people of the state, there will still be a vote that needs to be taken by the House of Representatives and Governor Mike Parson. The question of whether or not local residents are eligible for a tax rebate is sometimes the most contentious aspect of a stimulus package. At this particular instance, payments have been provided to individuals earning $150,000 and married couples at the maximum amount of $841. The payments were issued on September 1 Saint, at the end of the month. The second payment, which is intended to cover an amount of up to $841, will be distributed. On the other hand, the maximum amount of $1,600 for the month of September is only available to single grantees. Individuals who are eligible and have a spouse who is also eligible are eligible to receive up to $12 per payment. On the other hand, people who are living with or providing for Social Security recipients earn a stipend of $420 per payment. The SSA is in charge of monitoring the program. Those adults and children who are blind or have a handicap and have income and resources that fall below certain financial criteria are eligible to receive monthly benefits from this program. Payments from Social Security are also paid to individuals who are 65 years of age or older who do not have disabilities and who meet certain income requirements. Even if you have already received Social Security, Social Security Disability Insurance or Retirement Benefits, you may still be eligible to receive Social Security Disability Insurance, SSDI monthly payments if you have a need for them. In point of fact, around 7. 6% of people will receive Social Security benefits, and not everyone will receive the same amount. If you live in a state that adds the money to the federal Social Security payout, you might receive a higher amount, but if you have other sources of income, you might receive a lower amount. Due to the way that the system operates, two Social Security income payments are given out in the months of September, April, and December. However, this does not mean that you are receiving additional funds. The purpose of this is to compensate for the three months of January, May, and October in which there were no payments distributed. A new date for the deposit of inflation checks has been established. Please pay attention to this. Everyone, pay attention because things are going to get incredibly significant. An important financial boost will continue to be provided to millions of households that are qualified for this relief and continue to qualify for it. An inflation crisis that has dealt the United States of America, a severe blow is currently taking place. When it comes to the age family, the amount that each family is eligible to get is mostly determined by their income in addition to specified expenses. It has been formally announced by a number of states that they will provide additional SNAP benefits to families that are qualified for them. In the aftermath of the crisis, households that are having trouble making ends meet as a result of joblessness or decreased hours are the target